Ruth Medgeburn. Welcome to Out of the Dark Room on Adorama TV. I'm here on the banks of the River Seine in Paris in November, which can only mean one thing, Paris Photo. Paris Photo is the world's largest international art fair, and the great thing about it is that it specializes in photography. During the month of November, the whole of Paris celebrates photography. Every single gallery is stuffed to the brim with photographs. Behind me, you'll see the Grand Palais. It's an extraordinary setting in which you'll see hundreds of photographers represented by the world's greatest galleries. Join me today where we'll be having a look around at exactly what's on offer. Adorama TV presents Out of the Dark Room with Ruth Medjbear. The first thing you'll notice when you walk through the doors of Paris Photo is that there are so many different techniques of photography on display. Straight away, you're met with this amazing camera obscura shot by Abelard de Morel. It's really great detail and you can tell already that we're in a world-class photography fair. So something that you don't really comprehend unless you're standing in here in Paris Photo is the proximity of all the great art that's surrounding you. Take for example, we have some Sig Harvey that was created in 2010. Some really great contemporary quirky self-portraits. And then if you walk a short stroll, you'll see some Lee Friedlander, some Joseph Sudek, and if you walk just into this room, you'll see some Richard Avedon. You'll also see some Bill Brandt. And on top, you've got Diane Arbus. It's all here, all at your fingertips. Check out this really unique way of displaying photographs. Here the artist, Sissy Farisat, has laid these individual crystals right on top of the photograph. And if we look just over here, you'll see a fine example of a Polaroid transfer. Obviously now it's been blown up because no Polaroid is that size, but here you'll still see the detail that was kept in the original image. I found Michael Light here in Paris Photo and I've also found one of his amazing prints and he's very kindly agreed to talk to me a bit about how you got this amazing shot of LA at night. Well, it's not easy because I'm in a helicopter yeah. <laughs> and like all night photography you need uh, basically to open up your lens and as wide as you can get Absolutely. and obviously get the longest shutter uh, speed you can yeah. but I'm moving in a helicopter the helicopter is kind a lot of, of movement so I can only go uh, really about as slow as 1 60th of a second mm, yeah and then it's a game of developing and developing and developing pushing the film ah. to an extraordinary degree um, the, the the way this picture uh, is made possible is by shooting on four inch by five inch film I see because there's basically if you look carefully yeah. baseball size grain in there but because it's a large negative there's it's a lot not so big. Of, there's a lot of detail in there's there. a lot of detail, yeah. yeah. But, you know, the experience of actually being in a helicopter at relatively low altitude with the doors off at night. With the doors off. Drip, have to have the doors off. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it's got to be fun. Um, is, is really one of the more amazing things I've ever done. Just kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's, LA, of course, is vast. It's a giant met metropolitan area. Is that and why you chose LA yes. as part of your, your day and night absolutely, book? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, how do, we, how do we it. understand that kind of scale? Okay. And so, you know, the night work really starts, this is one of the earlier images in the sequence, starts with a kind of representation. This is Hollywood. Mm. Uh, there's the Capitol Records building. Oh, but yeah. as the images go by, they get more and more abstract and the halftone representation goes away and you get dots of light. Yeah. More and more, really, until the end where it's really a night sky. You're yeah. looking down at L.A., but it's really, essentially, metaphorically, a view upwards into the night vault of the sky. Wow. And so the lights become metaphors, in my mind, for the people. Oh, wow. For the vast numbers of people in L.A. Aww. So, you know. So actual physical details become less important yeah. and the sort of larger atmospheric yeah. uh, gains I suppose because you're making an image then and, you, and you're, you're doing it for aesthetic reasons. You're not doing it to document the land or anything. You're looking to see which area you want to expose yeah. with light yeah. and everything. Yeah, and I shoot a lot of film. I mean, that's yeah. the cheapest part of, 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 of the helicopter experience. <laughs> Is the film. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's so, fantastic. So. Brilliant, Michael. Thanks so much for sharing your insights into LA with us. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. So much variation is on display here in the Grand Palais. Have a look at this beautiful example of a double exposure. It's absolutely outstanding and more than any of us could ever try to attempt. And then right beside it, 
What's described on this little piece here is that it's a collage in glitter and you have to really be up close to this to, to see the glitter and really, um, really respect the work that goes into this. Obviously there is some photography and everything is kind of collaged on top of an acetate. There's drawing in there, pieces cut out, glitter glued on. It's, 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 a, it's a fine example of the art side of photography. And if we have a little move down, we'll see another style of presentation, which is, we, we, it does really make its mark this year in 2014. It's down as a, um, a digital video installation. It's a light box essentially, but a light box in the old terms. But if you see, there is a slight movement detected in the flames. And what's really eerie about this next photograph of the woman drinking a glass of water is that the movement in her breath is visible, but you have to get really up close to the picture. And when you do so, you're, you're looking and you're saying, where's the movement, where's the movement? And then she takes a breath and it almost gives you a bit of a fright. Outstanding way of, of showing your, your images, essentially. So I've come across this amazing artwork by Nathalie Bouté and uh, today Philippe, from, he's the director of the gallery that represents Nathalie, he's going to speak to me a little bit how she creates this artwork. It is a photograph, right? She starts with a photograph. Starts with a photograph, okay. But in fact she, she starts with a photograph but she works with paper and she built a new work from a photograph. Okay. So she starts, she, she, she cut strip by strip, many yeah. many strip of paper, all the same. Yes, yeah, so there's lots and lots of layers there, yeah. isn't there? There's, there's hundreds. There is many lines. She starts from the bottom to the top. Okay. And she print on some uh, some strips. Yeah. She print the same sentence. Yeah. In more more bold or less or less bold. So to, she to give the shadow and the shading and the color in Exactly. It. She has different kind of gray. Yeah. So she can use it like a painter, use yeah. color. Brilliant. And so what exactly is the text that's printed onto those strips? The text is always the same in all the, um, the strip. It's but the same sentence. The same sentence is the name of the novels. She, she did a tribute to these novels, okay. but always to the photography. Okay. So, so, the, the, so the text is from the novel and the novel relates to the photograph itself. They are in relation, yes. Yeah. So tell this me is, then. This is a photo of our family. Okay. And the text is from the um, a novel called The Disparition. Uh, okay. Français, uh, the the dispar disappearance. The, the di yeah. Yeah. The disappeared the, almost. And uh, in the novel there is no e. No in letter two, e. No, not the, not the letter e. Yeah. And in the um, photography, you can see that there is some uh, disappearance of of uh, characters. Yeah. Of, uh, the people are kind of, of disappearing yeah. up here. Because they, they, they passed away. Ah, so and that's they why they're not as prominent in the photo. That, exactly. Because they've passed so they, away, they, they're disappearing. They, pass, they, they disappear from our memories. Wow. Okay, that's fantastic. It's a really unique way of displaying a photograph and having all these other elements worked into it. Exactly. It's Thanks. wonderful. Yeah, thank you so much for You're talking welcome. me through that, Philippe. It was that's a pleasure. Thank you. thank you. Thanks for joining me today. Tune in again for more from Paris Photo at the Grand Palais and don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more amazing videos. Let us know what you think, like, comment and share.